everybody. Let's give a round of applause to Scott, to George, to Denny to do this wonderful event. It is not easy. If any of you have heard me speak before, you would hear me start off by saying, before I go anywhere, give yourselves a hand that you're still here in California and you're not in Florida and Texas. We deserve a lot of credit. I want to hear a loud applause. Somebody has to be on the front lines. Somebody has to be witness to the tyranny and the fascism that we endure on a daily basis. Um, when we have more rights to the homeless and to the undocumented workers than homeowners and business owners, when there's self-done crime politics, we have a problem. So I'm going to share with you my story as a former liberal from woke to awake. And uh, if you notice, my friend Andrew here was supposed to be here. Andrew was a true Democrat. On Facebook, he had his get vaccinated, stay home, Biden-Harris labels. And he was so excited to do this event. He got so much backlash and hate from his Democratic friends and families that he said, I can't do it. This is crazy. This is so un-American that when our own family and friends and our colleagues cancel us, we have a problem. We are so polarized. As a psychotherapist, though, when I work with couples who want to use me as a referee, and I say to them, do you want to be right or do you want to be married? Right? In our country, do you want to be right? Or do you want to be united? And guess what? A lot of us just want to be right. There's a lot of cognitive dissonance. Forget what you see. Forget what you experience. Forget what gas is at the pump, what milk is. Forget that we have a thousand wars since Biden has become an office. Trump is orange man bad. I was systemically brainwashed to believe that. So I'm going to stick with that. So when we have cognitive dissonance, we cannot use common sense. We cannot use critical thinking. And these are the very things to become awake, okay? Because there are really two parties today, the woke and the awake. And if you know, you know. How many people know? Who's awake in this crowd? Okay, well, that was, we can do better. Can we do better? Who is awake in this crowd? Faith and family. Can I get an amen? Thank you. All right. Woo! We're waking up the right way, Amira. Anyway, um, my journey. Uh, listen, if you're funny, we're going to laugh. You're not funny. You're offensive. And not, anyway, I'm not going to waste my time. So, as an Israeli, uh, proud Israeli, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, who stands for the same values that America has been founded on. I'm a very proud American. I'm a very proud Israeli, and we need our allies more than ever. Yes. Jews are 2% of America, but with our Christian silent majority, it's the majority, people. And this is not the time to stay silent. We're seeing what is happening to our own country, the desecration of our statues, of the very things our country was founded on. Nothing is more of a slap in the face than what's happening in our college campuses. So a little bit about my journey. Um, I voted for Obama not once, but twice. But I'm doing my atonement now. We're allowed to atone. Okay, so I'm the national ambassador of Jexit Jews exiting the Democrat Party. I have exited. <laughs> so how I exited, first of all, Shiva, where are you? Is Shiva here? Shiva, this lady has done something so incredible that none of us will soon forget. She has started the Beverly Hills rallies. Who was there during 2020, the Beverly Hills rally? She did something. She left such a legacy. We had one week, we had once a week from three to five, we could all come together, be pro-America, we could bask a blue, we could love our sitting president, 
We could love the USA. We could be diverse in our inclusion. We are the inclusion party who are united in love. Guess who was not at the Beverly Hills rallies? The media. Because why? They would see blacks for Trump, Asians for Trump, Latinos for Trump, LGB for Trump. That doesn't fit the narrative of MAGA being white America, right? So we can't cover that, just like we can't cover the border because if we don't cover it, it doesn't exist, right? That is systemic brainwashing. So I started going to the Beverly Hills rallies and I was not, I was blown away by what I saw. The other thing too, which is a, uh, a reason that might surprise you, I went through a very difficult, high conflict divorce. And what I learned about that is that if you are the party who really does want the best for the children, who wants to compromise, who wants to go forward with grace and accountability in the broken family court system, you lose. It's a win-lose situation that when you're dealing with an empowered victim mentality, it doesn't matter how much you give or how much you're willing to let go, they are gonna still feel justified in their anger. So do you think reparations for black people will work? No. Do you think land for peace will work? No. No, absolutely not. Why? Because until you release that justified empowered victimhood, you will always be a victim and you will never be truly free. And that is what turned me into a free thinker more than anything else. I have my free will. I have my free choice. I have my forward thinking. And these are proud conservative values. So, um, we're almost done. I have so much more to share. Um, the other thing that made me awake was the double standards. I was very familiar with it as an Israeli when I saw what the Padley camp would do. They would take things out of context. They would conveniently leave out historical facts and they would vilify Israelis just like they were trying to do to Trump and the white people. And I, I'll, I'm all about standards, but just apply them equally. And they're trying to do it in American soil with vilifying the Christians, vilifying anybody who supports Jesus, vilifying for people who want uh, God back in the schools and not Satan. And, you know, and, and not co-parenting with the government. Apparently, if you go to a school board meeting, you're a domestic terrorist. What happened there? So I leave you with this. God sees all. God does not need desperate propaganda. He sees all. The Jews will be okay. We have been for thousands of years. This is not our first rodeo. But please keep standing where the light shines. Stand with our allies. Stand with forward thinking, grace, accountability, faith. Stand up for what's right and don't apologize for it. Thank you, guys.